Nathan, welcome back to Hull City. How happy are you to be back here with the club? Yeah, delighted. Um, I really enjoyed my time here last year. Um, and I pretty much knew from the last game of the season, really. Um, had a chat with Barry, the goalkeeper coach, Shossa, the manager, Tan. They all made it clear that they wanted me back and it was a no-brainer for me here. Um, you know, you can see the way that the fans, um, you know, responded to me and that was really special and a massive factor as to why I wanted to come back and I feel like I'm joining a new club, you know, with the, the new project that Tan talks about and with the new owners coming in, you know, it's a really exciting period for any player and I think last year it was a year of consolidation, just being promoted and um, obviously this year really looking forward to a really exciting season. You've touched on it there, that it's, it is an exciting time at the club now. Was the owners project a key factor in you coming back? Yeah, 100% because as a young player you're ambitious and you want to join teams that are trying to compete at the top end of the table. Um, and you know, like I said, I, I almost feel like I'm signing for a different football club in the sense that um, you know, it's a more ambitious football club um, and that's really exciting because that's what you want to be a part of um, whilst at the same time being able to come back to a place that was home for me and feels, feels like home and I'm really happy so it's, it's the best of both worlds and obviously as a young player you, you want to play in the top level and in England that's the Premiership and you know, they made it very clear here that that's, that's the dream and um, from my point of view it's, it's my dream as well and you know, I'd, I'd love to do it here with Hull City. For yourself, there were seven clean sheets in 18 games for his last season. How do you assess your loan spell here last year? Uh, well, I think from a team's point of view, we, I actually think we underperformed. Like, there was quite a lot, if we, wouldn't, if we would have had a better start um, and got more fortunate with injuries and certain things, I actually think there was times where we could have, you know, maybe had a push. Um, but we stayed up, which was the main thing. And, you know, from my point of view, um, you know, obviously did really well in the games and when I came in and I was gutted that I broke my hand when I did um, at a time when we were flying really and then obviously we went through a dip after that which kind of derailed it a bit but you know I'm really happy to be back and hopefully now I can get a full season under my belt which was obviously my goal last year um, but yeah really pleased to be back and I just can't wait for the first game of the season and be back here in front of all the supporters. Yeah just talking about the supporters what's your relationship with them? Yeah I think everyone knows that and Obviously my, my social media all summer has been kind of littered with messages and that's obviously nice and it's a massive reason why I wanted to come back, you know, um, to be able to walk out and clap the fans the first game of the season. I can't wait for that moment and, you know, the support here is, is brilliant and it particularly was after the, the owner came in and um, the away support's brilliant as well and, and in particular the way they supported me. Um, you know, that doesn't obviously go unnoticed and it makes me feel welcome and makes me feel at home and, um, all the messages I get, you know, reiterate that. So obviously I've got to make sure I keep performing and keep playing well, which is obviously the reason why we have that relationship. But, um, you know, it's so nice as a, as a player to, to join a team where you know you've got the fans supporting you all the time. You touched on it earlier, your relationship with Barry Richardson, the goalkeeper and coach. Are you looking forward to be working with him again? Yeah, for sure. We have a really good group. I get on really well with Matty, all the other goalkeepers. We push each other every day. Um, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed working with him last year. I really enjoyed working with Shota, all of his staff as well, um, which was a, a big reason as to why I wanted to come back um, and keep developing. And I think we'll be a lot stronger for those experiences that we had last year because his style of football is slightly different and we had to adapt to that during the season. Now we've got a full six weeks to prepare and we're doing a lot of tactical work already in pre-season, which is, is really great. And I think we'll really stand us in good stead. Obviously, he's going to bring in players which fit his system as well and um, yeah I'm really looking forward to it. You touched on there about Matt Ingram as well he's just signed a new three-year deal are you looking forward to be battling with him next season? Oh, that's part and parcel of, um, of football you know you're always going to have a, another goalkeeper another two three goalkeepers at most clubs that but I think you know we all get on well and you know I don't pick the team Barry doesn't pick the team Matt doesn't pick the team the manager does so you know it's just a case of you do your best and Obviously, from my point of view, it's, I want to play 46 games, but um, I think that's the same as every footballer in, in, in the world, really. <laughs> and just finally, what's your targets heading into the 2022-23 season? Well, I think it would be silly of me to go against everything which everyone talks about. You know, I think it's, it's pretty obvious what the target is. Um, you know, it's pretty obvious what my individual targets are. Um, 
But you know, I, I, it's not just something that I say for the press, and I, I've said it to you loads of times, Joe, like, I just take it game by game, and I think that's why I put in the performances that I did last season, you know, my mind is just on, on the first game of the season, you know. I don't even know who we've got second game, to be honest with you, just because I don't really look that far, so that's what, that's what my priority is.